Hi! During this lesson, we will learn how to adjust the formatting of text in PowerPoint presentations. There are two main ways to include text in PowerPoint. The first one is to create an object, let's say a rectangular box. Click on it with the right mouse button and then select Edit Text. This will allow us to type within the box. The second possibility is to add a text box. We can do this by going to the Insert tab and selecting the Text Box button. The main difference between the two approaches is that text boxes are transparent by default and their size increases according to the quantity of text that we insert in them. On the other hand, a rectangular box would not change its borders, even if we type more text in it. The text will leave its borders if it does not fit its size. In order to modify the font of text in PowerPoint, we have to go to the Home tab and change it from the drop-down list containing hundreds of fonts. The type of font that we will choose for a presentation is important, as it contributes significantly to its final appearance. It is also important to be consistent when using fonts in a presentation. Almost all business presentations use a single font. In this course, we will use Arial. So let's change the font of the text within the box to Arial. I will click on the box and then type Arial within the font menu. You can see that PowerPoint automatically provides a suggestion based on the letters that I am typing. We can adjust the text's font size from the button within the Home tab, which stands right next to Font. Let's use a font size of 12. We can emphasize text by putting it in bold, using italic, or underlining it. We will see practical examples of these features in many of the next videos. If we want to change the color of text within PowerPoint slides, we can do that by using the Font Color button. Let's do it! I will select the text and change the text color to dark blue. In the Paragraph section of the Home tab are the commands, which will allow us to modify the alignment of text. We can choose whether to align it to the left, have it in the center, or align it to the right. The Align Text button determines whether the text would be on the top, in the middle, or at the bottom of the box. Depending on the information you need to present, you may find that bullet point format helps to make your text clear concise, and easy to read. While you are in Edit Text Mode, you can use the Bullets button, which is in the Home tab, and select the type of bullets that you would like to introduce. The size of the selected bullets will automatically adjust with the font size of the text that you are using. These are the most important commands that you will need to know when you have to work with text in PowerPoint. Thanks for watching.